deal with airplane peanuts. Yo, when I was young, we used to play this game called Gay Chicken, they called it. Uh, I didn't name the game, but I was, you know, I, I, the game existed, and then I, I and then I existed. Um, <laughs> was it your uncle? But, was it a neighbor? Well, the game was you, you and a buddy, you'd grab each other's wiener, right? Penis, they called it in those days. Some of you guys call it penis, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you'd grab it, and the first person to get an erection lost the game, right? <laughs> <laughs> So it's like it's arm wrestling for a sim- It's the stupidest fucking game. No, it's not. No. It's it, simple. I mean, it is. Did you win? Did is, you ever dude. win or did you lose? Huh? Did you lose a lot or did you win a lot? Oh, I did real well one season. Uh, <laughs> what is the gay chicken season? What Does that go from? It's more it? of a win. It's more, I would say it's an autumn game. <laughs> yeah. I would say it's kind of. Oh, that's so, I think I, I can see it now. The, all the leaves changing colors <laughs> and just the two of you. What, do you play with neighbors or the teams? No, or? you just got I mean, We only had about seven guys guys that played in our little bracket or whatever but they had you know what's um, weird you know what's interesting you have seven guys in your bracket yet it's a two-man game yeah and so there's an odd number oh yeah does it have to be two-man can't you like do it in a circle oh come on lady no <laughs> come on man that's y'all are messed up y'all are first dude i'll tell you what we did one time so we had a dent in a car or vehicle or whatever you guys call them <laughs> and um yeah and dude we caught a couple of pigeons and got them to shit over the dent oh you just held the pigeon over there yeah. kept feeding it squeezed it a we little. didn't feed them they'll shit pretty soon after you hold them <laughs> and we turned it in and when it had this kind of you know a uh, kind of a just a shit finish i guess on it <laughs> and they didn't see the dent they didn't see the damage you know smart so that's kind of an old school thing i guess or new school <laughs> But hello and welcome to trigonometry. I'm Francis Foster. <laughs> I'm Constantine Kissing. And this is a show for you if you want honest conversations with fascinating people. Our brilliant guest today is already taking the piss out of us. It's the amazing American comedian Theo Vaughn. Welcome Bro, to trigonometry. You guys have we call it autism. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys call it, bro, but we got it over here. Everybody's got it. They had a comedy room near me. This gentleman had half a limb. And he which, was... Uh, which limb? He was missing part of his leg, I mm -hmm. think. Or he said he was. So he could have been faking it. Mm -hmm. CGI or something? Mm, I don't know what his name was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a... CGI. It was, no, it was a white dude. <laughs> okay, check. So are you going to go to space, do you think, Logan? Because I was, I was thinking about that. They're doing that now. They're doing that. I know. I, I, I am going to go. Yeah. I'd like to go. It's on my bucket list. I don't want to die on this planet, dude. Really? I don't want to, like, for real, for real. I don't want to die on this planet. Damn, that is a very rich thing to say, I feel like. <laughs> <honestly>. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> I don't want to die with these poor peasants. <laughs> the rest of us are trying to find quarters in our car to get that air machine to fucking fill up our tire at the gas station. And this guy's like, I'm not done with will... this planet. Yeah. I feel you though, dude. We'll be, well, we'll be down here. Dying. There he is. In an Austin Hooper jersey. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Yeah. You have other people that say, I don't want to die in this neighborhood. <laughs> like the projects, I got to get out of here. He's trying to leave to go to Mars for a fucking funeral that no one can go to. <laughs> Who's going to attend that? Jeff Bezos. There'll be somebody out there, dude. There'll be somebody out be, there. A couple of pervs. Andrew Schultz. Some, yeah, some yeah Schultz would be out there. Yeah. <laughs> Who would be at that dinner, dude, at that last Saturn supper, huh? Who would be out there on that thing? Bezos, Musk. Rogan would be there. Rogan would be working the Traeger out there. Yeah, Rogan have an apron on. Uh, and, and space Bare elk. ass showing space out of the back. Elk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Eating fucking moon meats. Doing, what's it called? The ivermectin? Yeah, bro, it cured him. That guy. That uh, was a wild one. Thank God for him, man gotta protect them yeah yeah but just thank god for you know thank god for freaking podcasting yeah for real yeah. could you imagine oh my god oh having my to god. go on the news and talk about something <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro i would pay somebody to look at my asshole if i had to do that man how much children that's who oh huh <laughs> but only in my family
And only in my neighborhood, dude. Only to give back to the community. <laughs> <laughs> you need like a to Venn give diagram. Back what was given to you. <laughs> yeah, to give back what was given to me, man. <laughs> you got to keep going, man. You got to give back to your roots, man. Theo, you're from Louisiana. What do you think about this guy? Yeah. Um, <laughs> when you said Landry, I knew he was from there. That's the only place I've ever heard that name. What part are you from? I'm from Homa. Oh, yeah. What's dude, that? Homa's a good place, really. <laughs> It's a good place to have a friend. It's real soft down there. The land is real soft. Like Swamp. you could be talking to somebody and then they just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking, bro. And they people are so nice, they'll listen as they just fucking go. <laughs> the fucking they just sink into the ground. Yeah, they're like, I'd love to stay, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and his family partially owned the place. It was a oh. business next door. They sold wine. Like Gary V or whatever that guy's name is, Jerry V. <laughs> Telling people to fucking sell their home and sleep in their yard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that dude was raised on a damn wine <laughs> wine farm or something, dude. He's out there fucking, you know what I'm saying, dude? Hiding grapes in his ass at night. <laughs> Freezing grapes and fucking hiding them in his ass. And he's telling people how to struggle. Dude, that guy's out of his mind. He's like, oh, damn, dude. Oh, you still have silverware in your house? Fucking sell it. And then he shows up and he'll like hug the dude. The guy can't even, he has no way to get food in his mouth, you know? <laughs> the guy's fucking just knuckling through some chowder, <laughs> knuckling through some booyah base, and he's like, "No worries, man. You made seventy six dollars last night." And he hugs him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck? And then he drives off, and the family's just standing there in a the park. <laughs> Another winner. That guy's out of his fucking mind, dude. And he hugs. Oh, you sold two extra Christmas sweaters you didn't need from last year, and they're crying together. Like, what is going on, dude? Um, oh man. But anyway, I don't. And look, man, I gotta, I gotta give some love to my boy Gary. Oh, I'm sorry. The videos. I'm not saying the guy's not a smart guy. <laughs> the videos, though, and the guy it grew up well off. Well, no, I think he actually didn't grow up well off. That's part of his. Oh, and that's I could part be of lying. His deal. No, you you partially lying, but it's not really lying if you don't know. But he was he grew up. You know, his dad owned like a corner liquor store or something, and he did. You know, he got after and created the. Uh, but in my neighborhood, a corner liquor store is the same as a winery. Yeah, okay. true, true. <laughs> right, so if you're looking at it from thing. maybe from Theo Vaughn's perspective, <laughs> hell yeah, he grew oh, up yeah. like big time. Oh yeah, look at these <laughs> dudes over here, huh? <laughs> Slanging that re-sling. <laughs> is vaping, this is a crazy question, is, you can vape inside? Mm. Most people look at you and be like, let me hit it. All right, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, most, I think most people just don't care. But like, imagine lighting savage. up a cigarette inside of a cheesecake factory. They'd be like, what the I'm fuck I'm going to call the on? FBI for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, because vaping people usually blow it down their pant leg or blow it the like yeah, the turtleneck. Oh, out somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And there's even shirts I saw where it's made for vaping, secretly vaping. <laughs> it's a wetsuit. <laughs> It's like a uh, vaping shirt. I know that they have pocket tees that hold your vape in the corner. No, I'm talking about hold the fucking smoke. Oh, damn. That ghillie suit? Dude, there was a dude next to me who didn't give a fuck on the flight. People be vaping on flights. Full smoke. That's a black dude, bro. (laughs) Just say what you want to say, dog. (laughs) Is Mr. Joe videotaping this? (laughs) Hey, hey, Theo. Theo. Okay, look. Can you? We going to role play, all right? All right. You my girl? And you just gonna break up with me. Oh shit. Just break right. up with me, alright? Just break up with you? Yeah. Can I I'm just asking, can I use the N-word or not? I I hey. No, I'm just saying I would always I mean the, hey. Theo, I don't care, but when we step out of here, I can't help you. Okay. <laughs> but you use it at your discretion. Okay. Whatever you want. Hey, Ellis. Hey. Hey, what's up, baby? What's going on? You know what the fuck's up, boo. My little. <laughs> baby, why are you censoring the word nigga? You know you said freedom. That was a call came in. I ain't censoring shit. I know you've been out there with Mr. Joe petting them fucking white animals. What? What the? What, baby? What? I know you been out there with Papa Joe, petting them little fucking honky muppets. <laughs> Shonda, you crazy, baby? Look, um, not as crazy as your homeless ass is, 
I'm out this relationship, my... Sonda? Do, do, do. This so line has currently been disconnected. We had a dude, um, when I was growing up, this dude, we stayed at his house one time, this guy Curtis, and he knows it. He has a big dick. I could tell by his name. He actually, bruh, he has a big dick and a gay brother, dude. Damn. If you got a gay That's brother, a you double, have a big dick. For a thousand percent. You know, guy. Or you if know. you're a cop, cops got packed, the cops are packing dick. Really? Usually. I mean, the highway patrol generally has a bigger penis. I got to look that up. All right. Um, so Curtis, yeah, he had a bunch of animals at his house. Like right. he probably had twenty animal cages in his room, and I was so scared I couldn't go to sleep. He had snakes, ferrets. Were you sleeping at his house? Yeah, we were having a sleepover. Right, and uh, and that night his dad actually jerked off into the fire. Oh, outside. I remember the story. Yeah. Well, also though, in the middle of the night, his dog was barking a lot. The dad went out there, shot it. What? Damn, that's Louisiana. In the middle of the night, that's bro. Louisiana, and no one did shit. Dude, I wasn't fucking going to defend that dog. It had just uh, lost, you know? Damn. And I barely knew the father, you what know? What kind and of gun was it? I mean, it sounded a like pistol? a handgun. Yeah, pistol. Yeah, I don't think you'd go out there with something bigger than that. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, that's, if you're gonna shoot a pit bull, it's gotta be, you, I don't think you do a shotgun. But also the dog, you gotta recognize you're outside of the city limits. This dog has to know where he's at. Like, oh, he knew. You know, there's kids, there's five kids sleeping over. You're gonna be up all night fucking barking. Like, right. unless it's a murderer out in the yard or something, you gotta tighten it up for the night. I tell you this much, those other animals probably. Oh, right after that, their... everybody was quiet. That's it. The ferrets shut the fuck up. Everybody <laughs> was chill. The spider, you know, right. quiet as fuck. Quiet dude. as a mouse. Oh, had put on eight slippers and fucking went to bed, bro. <laughs> oh, Everybody dude. chilled out. So, Patrick, let's talk about it. What do you do for a living? Opiates. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. Thank you. I'm just joking, dude. That's when I really started to like being a part of recovery. And there's all types of it, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's stuff, stuff for everything. There's recovery for people that wear shirts that don't fit mm -hmm. or that fit too tightly. Yeah, I've and, uh, struggled with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. And it's really, it drags me down hanging around with Echo because well, we both say, kind of feel, uh, feed you mean, off yeah. each other and it just turns into a bad scene. I was going to say, I see who your dealer is, obviously, <laughs> okay? <laughs> You guys meeting up behind a freaking auto zone to fucking pick up a couple extra smalls, dude. The sad part is there is a small boy out there somewhere right now. <laughs> you don't have a shirt. You don't have a shirt on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, Thea, last question we ask, and this is going to sound funny given what you've just said, is what's the one thing when... <laughs> not when, bad, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long day, dude. You ask him the question. Yeah, man. okay. So, Theo, the last question yeah. we always ask is, What's right, the thing? Look one more time. Is this mirror? F this is a good mirror. Yeah, it is a good mirror. Did this chain be out the whole time? <laughs> oh no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the one thing we're not talking about that we really should be? Mm. I think they. Oh, dude! I remember one time I saw these. Massive birds, right? They call them in your yeah, country. They call Massive birds. birds, beautiful, strong. <laughs> uh, I swear, bro. I went to this. I went to this place called Newcastle. Have you heard of this? Yes, yes. yeah. We've okay. heard of Newcastle. And this taxi drops me off, and there was these. It was like a part, like a. I don't know if it was looked like a bachelorette party or something, and in this foyer of like a big. There was a big room, like a big window, and they were in there naked, mm -hmm. you know. What do you call it? Tits? Yes. Yes. Tits. And they were beating each other with pillows in there, bro. And I sat out there and watched, smoked a cigarette out there. Right out there, And boy. that's the one thing no one's <laughs> talking about. Huh? And that's the one thing bro, no one's talking about. There was seven of these women in there. <laughs> I can see why you brought it up. It's, yeah. an, it's an and important it was point, fucking. Though. It was serious, man. Oh. That was fantastic. Well, Theo. It was serious, bro. See, I can't even do it justice because you can't even believe that it could happen, could you? <laughs> How, who would get seven women naked and have them pillow fight in front of a big, huge picture window? It's almost like they wanted to be seen, Theo. I don't know, man. That's fucking, that's beautiful, bro.